as an entrepreneur, I want to make the best decisions for my business. And a lot of times that means relying on uh, my peer network. I'm a self-taught machinist. I have major holes in my skill set. So we as our business have, have probably spent $300,000 in the last two years buying machine tools. I want to buy those tools that I know are going to be recipes for success. So when I see my friends using them, when I see other people pushing them out, we looked at some machine tool vendors that have really strong brands and strong histories who consciously don't want to be in that public limelight. And that to me is difficult because that doesn't match with our ethos of I want to share how we're succeeding with it. I want to see how other people are succeeding with it. When I think about uh, manufacturing companies or job shops or software companies, you're helping reduce that anxiety of getting new customers. And uh, the younger generation isn't going to go to trade shows and listen to cold sales call pitches from service and sales technicians. They're going to talk to their friends. They're going to look at what other people are doing. And so you know you're doing a good job when there are third party conversations going on about what you do because of what you've been putting out on social. People join communities because of shared beliefs, not because of shared interests which is a subtlety that's actually pretty profound. In our world, people are on Instagram following other machinists, not just because we like machining, but because we all tend to believe that we're in this together and we wanna kinda of help each other and pay it forward, even though we're all competitive and we're running our own businesses.